Marian Anderson was an American contralto. She performed a wide range of music, from opera to spirituals. With the aid of First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt and her husband President Franklin D. Roosevelt, she performed a critically acclaimed open-air concert on Easter Sunday, April 9, 1939, on the Lincoln Memorial Steps in the Capitol. She sang before an integrated crowd of more than 75,000 people and a radio audience in the millions. On January 7, 1955, she became the first African-American singer to perform at the Metropolitan Opera. In addition, she worked as a delegate to the United Nations Human Rights Committee and as a goodwill ambassador for the United States Department of State, giving concerts all over the world. She participated in the civil rights movement in the 1960s singing at the March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom in 1963. She also worked with the Girl Scouts of America and other charitable organizations such as the American Red Cross and the Spence Japan Adoption Service. Her contributions were made privately because she did not believe in making a public show of her generosity. In interview, she often referred to herself as we. Once she was asked why she said we instead of I, she replied. Possibly because the longer one lives, one realizes that there is no particular thing that you can do alone. There are many people those who wrote the music, those who made the pianos on which the accompanist is playing, the accompanist who actually lends support to the performance. So the I in it is very small, after all. Modern people use the word I more than we. It's seen as a side of a competitive society that looks at the world in a self-centered way. But what we should never forget is that there is no particular thing in the world that we can do alone, as Marian Anderson said.